what is stock transfer and why the stock transfers are required so let's say you are having a very particular very common scenario you are having a plant a and you have a plant b you want to transfer your material from plant a to plant b okay now from plant a to plant b you want to transfer your material now for this plant a need to transfer the material to plant b this can be a very common scenario where plant a is your manufacturing plant okay you want to transfer from a plant to b plant so that transfer from a plant to b plant is called the stock transfer and plant b is your distribution center there can be there can be multiple different ways to get the stock transfer done we'll also discuss that so in this case what would be happening the plant a is supplying to plant b okay plant a is supplying to plant b so this case also we would be doing we have a multiple ways to do it we will be discussing we can do a simple goods movement okay through a transaction called migo in sap migo or we can also do through sto stock transfer order stock transfer order right uh, we can also do from stock transfer order or from me go from one step movement two step movement also we can do it sto is the more common which is used between the two plants why sto is used i would be also coming to that point but why sto why not sales order why not purchase order why we are not using those documents and why we are using another third kind of document which is called stock transfer order now this stock transfer order is very much like a purchase order technical object is a purchase order only you would be able to create with the transaction me21n with the transaction me21n you would be able to create it but it would be a document which would be having a characteristics of both it would be having a characteristics of buying also it would be having a characteristics of selling also both would be happening now this process is not a process where i am going and selling to the, my customer or this is not a process where basically i am buying from my third party vendor this is a internal process where all both of the plant plant a plant b is within my company so i am doing a within my company transfer right so within your company transfers when you do the transfers within your company in these scenarios we need to adopt to another process neither it's a sales process nor it's a procurement process we call it as a transfer process which is document type which is used is a stock transfer order sto uh, uh, although it is stock transfer order but here also technically one would be the customer and another would be the supplier okay one would be the customer another would be the supplier can you tell me that which plant would be acting as a customer here and which plant would be acting as a vendor or supplier here plant a is a vendor or supplier because it is supplying and plant b is a customer because it is getting the material right so here the characteristics should be there that there kind of a some kind of sales order kind of functionality should be here for plant b okay not sorry plant b would be having a because plant b is my customer right plant b is my customer so here you will be having some uh, purchase order related functionality you would like to see because this is purchasing in his system it will be creating a purchase order okay and plant a who is supplying is actually selling to the plant b so here you will require the sales order kind of functionality because i am selling to plant b so plant a is selling to plant b so plant a as a vendor in his system the functionality of the document should be as a sales order so plant a requires something which looks like a sales order plant b requires something which looks like a purchase order it would be having all the things that who is a supplier who is giving how long it will take all this functionality would be there so this buying and supplying the both has been merged together with the document called stock transfer order with the document called stock transfer order but now the transfers is, does not happen between the only between the plant there are the multiple different kind of transfers happens can you give me any another examples in between manish is asking boss who would be creating a stock transfer order in this case stock transfer orders always we prefer to create from the requirement side who is having a requirement plant b is putting a requirement ki i want to buy it right so plant b would be creating a sto because he wants to buy it so we prefer that from wherever the requirement comes who wants it that guy would be managing the stock transfer requests that guy would be managing the stock transfer orders also 
plant to vendor okay plant to uh, plant to vendor that is a return scenario bin to bin s lock to s lock intra company transfers store location to store location transfer yes there can be multiple transfers right so this is an example of a plant to plant transfer then you can also have a store location s lock to s lock transfer store location to store location transfer that is within plant within plant from one story location you are transferring to another story location here you are transferring from one plant to another plant now these both of the plants this is called story location to story location transfer these both of the plants if, if it belongs to same company code if this belong to the same company code this would be called your intra company transfer but if plant a belongs to company code a and plant b belong to company code b if they belong to the different company codes then this transfers we would be calling it as a then this transfers we would be calling it as a inter company stock transfer because the company codes are different company codes are different you should be having a proper accounting entries invoicing entries between these two company codes because company codes means a separate le financial separate legal entity if it is a separate financial legal entity so that financial entries also need to come separately so that would be a separate uh, technical scenario it will become it will become an inter company stock transfer okay it, it will come become an inter company stock transfer if the both company codes belong to the different if both plants belong to the different company code okay so now inter company stock transfer and there is another terminology also comes into the picture which is your inter uh, inter company sales okay so this is the basics about the transfers now you would be clear about the transfers let me jump ahead and also clarify you a basic difference which will be happening between the inter company sales and inter company transfers i would be jumping into the technical how the diff different things will happen within this also will be having a different things we would be able to do one step movement two step movement with reservation without reservation so many technical things will be there but let's focus on the basics first so bhargavi for you again intra company stock transfer when there is a transfer is happening between the two plants and both plants belong to a same company code both of the plants belong to a same company code then it's intra company stock transfer but if you are transferring from plant a to plant b and both of these plants belongs to separate company code different different company codes then it's your inter company stock transfer Thank you.